All right. <clears throat> Revolver. I mean, it's it's pretty straightforward, simple. <coughs> this right here, you'll slide it forward, and it will eject your cylinder. You don't ever want to like how they do in the movies, how they'll flip your you know the cylinder shut or whatever. It's it's real bad on. Uh, you know, they, they, you see a lot of that stuff, but it, it's, it's really not good for them. Whenever you have your rounds loaded, as you load them, you'll put them in. Of course, me being left-handed, I'm doing it that way. You do it however you want. Uh, this right here ejects your spent cartridges. <coughs> so you, after you fire them, you would flip that open, and you take that finger and open it. And load the rest of your rounds in, you're ready to go again. Okay. Now, on a revolver, you can do one of two things. You can actually, it's a, it's a single action, double action trigger to where if you want to, you can't, well, I've got it open. You can take this hammer and you can cock it all the way back and you can, whenever you do that, it is a very, very mild trigger pull, very easy. Whenever I do this, I just barely pull on that trigger and it lets it go. But if I want to pull it by hand, my finger like that, do a double action. The double action pull means whenever you pull that trigger, it cocks the hammer and it will release it. If it's a single action, you have to cock the hammer with your thumb or whatever and then you pull the trigger. So that trigger only does one thing. It's a one single action, which is release the hammer. So it's either way. You usually have better accuracy if you do it single action. You know, if you cock the hammer for each round, but it's not necessary. Um, whenever you cock the hammer, it will rotate your cylinder. Every time the hammer cocks, it rotates the cylinder. So whether or not you do that with your thumb or by pulling the trigger with your finger, it's up to you, whatever you want to do. Um, and. The round that is going to be fired, when you're, if you're, your hammer is down, it's going to be the round in the one o'clock position that actually gets fired. So, see like, right now, this round here will be the one that gets fired whenever I, I, pull, when I cock the hammer or pull the trigger, whichever one, because it'll be cocking the hammer. Because whenever you cock that hammer, it'll rotate it into position there. Rotate it. Now, what I can do, I can either pull the trigger right now and cock it. <coughs> like that. <laughs> or, I can cock it and whenever I do it that way, It's just, it's very, very easy pull. Like I say now, this one is a beast. And they're spent, you can kick them out. On the pistol, what I was talking about with your thumbs forward and everything, you don't want your thumbs up here. You wanna keep your thumbs down back here. I've seen people put their thumbs up here. Typically what you do is you will have your thumbs curled down like that, or for you all, being right-handed, you'll have your thumbs curled. And whichever way is the most comfortable for you to get a hold of it. Get a good purchase on it. Now, with, pistol, with, with a revolver like this, you are going to be gripping it with both hands. Like what we were talking about with the semi-autos, how you're doing most of your gripping with your off hand. With this one, you're going to grip it with both hands. I mean, you're, you're going to need to hold on to it. Uh, and expect it when it fires, it is going, your recoil is going to come up and that, that's okay. On a semi-auto, you, you don't want to let it come way up because you can end up, you rob all the inertia out of the slide system by letting too much, let, letting it come up too much. But on a revolver, let it come up, let it do its thing, now, you know, don't let go. But, you know, let it, let it follow through, so to speak. Like if you were shooting a basketball, you follow through, same type of deal. So. Which one wants to go first? Okay. <clears throat> and you'll 
find you'll you'll have to load these outside ones. Uh, it, it's, it's hard; you can't really get those loaded, so you just rotate the cylinder as you do it. Like I say, you know, you, you just keep your thumbs. Let me watch how you got your thumbs over here. Yeah, just whatever feels like you've got a good hold on it, you'll be fine. Spread your legs a little farther and squat some. It'll help you with the recoil. This one, uh, shoot it double action. Go ahead and just pull trigger and just so you see how that is. Okay. It's a long pull. You'll feel like you're never going to get there. the size of the hole is just splitting in there. I think that was all, wasn't it? Yeah. Hand off. <clears throat> okay. There you go. Now what you might try and do is take your left hand mm -hmm and hold it right in here like that. Right. That way you've got, as you load, you can just sit there and thumb them right in there. And then whenever you want, whenever you're ready to fire, all you have to do is grab it and close it. This takes you back to the days I had a blank fire. <laughs> you feel like you're in the Wild West now? <laughs> You need some chaps. <laughs> okay. Now for the first one, I'd probably go ahead and cock it and fire it single action. Whenever you pull that hammer, make sure your fingers off the trigger for sure. And uh, just get your, like I said, I was telling him, get a, just get a good purchase on it. Just you know, get your hands worked in there to where you feel like you've got a good grip on it. There you go. It wasn't far off what I was aiming at. <laughs> I, was I was watching you. Dot. Ah, there you go. <laughs> That's yeah. what I was aiming at. You'd have killed them dead. And me too, probably. <laughs> yes, sir. Remember to breathe out right before. <laughs> There's some recoil on this, isn't there? Yeah, there is. And remember, you know, if you need to let that recoil go up some. Go ahead. Go again. We'll, we'll look at that one in a minute. You need to let that recoil. Whenever, just then, whenever it didn't go, I can tell you, you're, you're definitely anticipating it. Just, you want that thing, you want it to go off and you not realize it's about to. You want it to surprise you. And I know it surprises you every time that you pull the damn trigger. Yeah. But what I'm saying is, is that you don't want to anticipate it. You just want to start pulling back on that trigger slowly, and whenever it goes, it goes, and you not be ready for it. Because 
I, it work with me. I mean, you know you're about to shoot it, but yeah. when you're anticipating it, you it causes you to, to nose dive your, your shot on purpose. So just like I say, just watch that front sight and just slow back, slowly press on that trigger and don't anticipate it. There you go. All right, on this one, shoot it double action if you haven't already. That's my fifth shot. There was a one miss, if you remember. Um, go ahead, uh, open your cylinder. Now look and see. Okay, that will need to be in your one o'clock position. Now, is it, go ahead and take, I believe it is. All right, your one o'clock, that'll be the one to fire. Fire that double action where you just pull your trigger. And again, it'll be a long, Go ahead and get your finger, finger down. Uh, your left finger, there you go. Gotcha. And I got Dead behind it. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> All right. There you go. And that's the 44 Magnum. <laughs> that's badass crazy. <laughs>